Hello everybody, this is Aaron Gaming, and today is Friday. Fr okay, I'm gonna stop singing now. Okay, today is Friday, so that means we're doing my favorite tier, which is the UU tier. So far in the UU tier, we've done a lot of UU, which means that it might not be the most creative one, because I've already done some stuff. A whole lot of stuff, actually. But it's still fun to do. Also, Entei is there, and I've been wanting to use an Entei. I'm going to make it shiny, because, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to give it a choice band. This thing is just for sweeping. Uh, it has Flare, Blitz, um, Extreme Speed. It gets some good physical moves. And by good, a few, I mean two. See? Okay, I guess it gets Stone Edge. And I could give it dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. No, I'm kidding. Uh, does it not get Earthquake? It doesn't get Earthquake. That's stupid. This is dumb. Here, have Eruption. <laughs> no special attack. I'm sorry. This is stupid. Oh, uh, well. I'm going to go Adamant, actually. <clears throat> but anyway. Yep, there's my Entei. I gave it Eruption. I don't know why. And here we go. I need another Pokemon. And I think what I'm going to use is... I just recently, from a trade, I got a Kingdra. That is a pretty cool set that I want to use. Um, I'm going to give it focus energy and try to set that up. But. What's that item that makes it so you get more crits? Well, my friend wants to battle me on this channel. So maybe some other time. Maybe tomorrow. But not today, because I'm recording now, and he's not home, so, yeah. Sorry about that random quietness. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's that item that makes it so that you get a crit every time. I'm actually going to go look that up, and then I'll be our, or not every time, but it makes it more likely to get a crit. Yeah, so it is a razor claw or a scope lens, and I like scope lens better. My friend Sandra's weird. Anyway, so yeah. And I need to give it Sniper. And this is the set I'm going to be running on my Kingdra that I got recently from this person for some Lilip. Because Lilip is just Lilipy. Anyway, so now I have to use something else that I haven't used very often. <laughs> there aren't too many of them in UU. Um. I'm actually re I'm what I'm trying to do right now is I'm actually trying to get a Umbreon with a Heal Bell, which I can do now because on my black two white two game I have enough shards to get an Umbreon an Impish Umbreon so or an Impish EV so I can get an Umbreon with Heal Bell and I'm like, pretty excited about that because that's always fun. So leftovers, this is a good wall, really just in general. Synchronize is a good ability you want to have um. I don't know what attack moves it gets. I don't think it gets really any very good ones. But Unfortunately, the one I'm talking about that I have, I can't use Wish on it, and that kind of stinks. But, you know what? I'll just use Moonlight instead. I'm assuming that that must be, like, another move that is... Yep, Moonlight's usable, too. So anyway, I guess what people run is Foul Play, Heal Bell, Moonlight, and Toxic. Yeah, that sounds about right. And especially a defensive set. Shut up. <laughs> I don't care what you think, Smogon.
equals. Okay, plus. I'm gonna make it Imbish. Anyway, so now I still have three more Pokemon's uh, Pokemon to get, and I have, you know, I'm gonna use Nazelf because Nazelf is always fun. I'm gonna give it choice specs. I have no guarantees that this is gonna be a good team, but. Psychic, um, you run Psychic, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, I think. No, I can't learn Ice Beam. Uh, Energy Ball and Flamethrower and Fast Spec Set. So anyway, I still have two more Pokemon I need to use. I'm going to actually use a Chestnut, okay, as my physical wall. And seeing as how this Umbreon is a special wall, I can use a Chestnut as a physical wall. And Chestnut, I've never used the Chestnut. I've always kind of wanted to, but I just haven't. So I'm going to give it Seed Bomb, I think, is a move that people use, right? I don't know. I think it's like Seed Bomb. Leech Seed. It can get Pain Split. That's so weird and funny. Uh, I know you run... Spiky shield. I'm actually going to run spikes on this thing. What I really like is a good set at, is actually um sub spikes. But unfortunately I can't really do that one. So let's just use this chestnut. And now I need one more Pokemon. Preferably, preferably a special attacker. Maybe a physical if I can't find. Empoleon. You know what? I've never used an Empoleon even though that was my first ever starter. I'm trying to remember. It's like... There's a berry that raises speed when you're at less than one fourth, and then you set up like something. And you know what? The best thing would be to do pair, bear, type in the word berry. You know, see, like things like raise spatial defense. Uh, I think it's like I don't remember. Yeah, I can get agility, so you use a berry that raises the special attack, and then you can basically sweep things if it happens the way you need it to happen. Like this lychee berry, which is kind of funny, because... Anyway. Yeah, so I'm not exactly sure which one it is. There we go, pataya berry. And then you give it defiant, I guess. I don't have any reason. No, wait, that's what physical attack. I'm going to run Scald. Agility. Flash Cannon. And then one other move. I think that actually Surf is probably I'm um, Ice Beam. So, Fast Special Sweeper. And that's my team. Uh, now I'm going to do three battles with it. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work out, but let's try it. So if you look at this guy's team, the spikes affect everything, I think. So I'm going to lead off with the chestnut. He leads off with Azelf. I'm guessing because of the way he led off with it, he either expected me to lead off with chestnut, or he's just going to set up the rocks. So I'm going to go for a spiky shield. So he just sets up the rocks. I'm okay with that. I probably should have started setting up my spikes then. But I, don't, I mean, that would actually be really stupid. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go into my specs as elf right now. He's going to taunt me, which I'm okay with cuz well, who cares. So if I'm going to I'm going to look at his team right now and see what sh There's nothing on his team except for this thing that okay. Thunderbolt is probably my best bet here. Wow, he's faster than me. There has to be a speed tie cuz I'm pretty sure I'm timid. Yeah, it was a speed tie. So my choice specs to Azelf is going to go for another Thunderbolt. <laughs> and yet, it's not doing too well right now. He's going to go into Rodom Heat. I have to switch out here. I'm going to go into Kingdra. Oh, he went for the Volt Switch. Shoot. I'm not playing this team very well right now, am I? No, the answer is no. He's going to go into the Mian Shao. I don't like it. I'm going to go into my Chestnut. He goes for the Drain Punch. I'm okay with this. 
I'm gonna go for a spiky shield. I really want to get my spikes set up. He's actually gonna switch into Rodom Heat. Logical move. Uh, I'm not playing this too well. He's just gonna hit me with a f overheat. I'm gonna let my chest not die. I'm not doing too well. Now I'm gonna go into my Kingdra and get up a Focus Energy. Actually, a Dragon Dance. I'm going for the D Dance because I know he has. He pretty much has to switch in some way, shape, or form. So I get the Dragon Dance off, which basically means that I can kill something with something. Like Outrage. Boom. Whoosh. And there's still, because I'm holding a scope lens and I have Sniper, there's still a very large chance of me getting a crit. He actually outspeeds me. He's a Scarfed Rodom Heat, I guess. Although I thought that Scarf races are the same... Now I'm going to go into Empoleon, because I'm thinking that this thing pretty much checks all of the moves that Cloisters like to run, so... I'm going to get an Agility off right here. He's going to go for a Rapid Spin and get my one layer of Spikes back off. Um, I'm just going to go for a Scald here. I pretty much outspeed his entire team now. The Porygon Z comes in, I'm not too scared of that. I'm going to outspeed it because I am at times two speed. And Empoleon has a pretty respectable special attack stat. It's just that speed is lacking a little bit. So if you get the agility set up, then you pretty much are good. He's going to go into the Rodom Heat. I think he might think I c he can outspeed. I can eat the Pattaya Berry now, though. Yep. Yeah. So now I'm actually going to go for another agility. Because I don't think this Umbreon can kill me with a foul. Whoops. That was a stupid. Well, now I'm going to go into this thing. Go for a stone edge. He's going to go for a wish. I locked myself into the best possible move because I can't go for the Flare Blitz because that wouldn't really hurt the Rodom Heat. He's going to go into his Cloister I, as I miss that. And now I'm going to go into Umbreon because I frankly, he's going to go for a Razor Shell. Umbreon gets the, he gets the special defense drop. I mean the physical defense drop. And now he's going to go for an Icicle Sphere which is going to hit five times and I'm still going to live. I'm going to go for Foul Play there. Now Moonlight, even though I know I'm going to die. I could go into Azelf, but... Now I can go into Azelf, and I can kill pretty much one thing. Actually, I think I'm going to go for... See, he has options here. If I go for a Psychic, he can just switch into Umbreon, and that thing can take it. If I go for anything, all of my other moves, his Rodom Heat can just come in and wall me. He goes into the Heat Rodom, like I kind of thought he would, and that pretty much sucks, so. My friend is telling me to wait 10 minutes, even though I'm already most of the way into this recording, and wait, I've only done one battle, there's still two more. Um, so now my Azelf is kind of going to have to die here. And now I'm going to have to go into my Entei, and just continuously go for Stone Edges and hope that I can win, but I can't. Boom, that thing is not dead. I lost. Aww. GG. That was not very good on my part. Now our record for the whole thing is 4-3, and three, and our um, UU record is 0-1. <laughs> this is not a very great team. So he's using a Nido Queen. I, queen, I like it. I'm going to actually just go ahead and lead straight off with the Kingdra. Hopefully he'll be scared out by the fact that I can just go for moves. No, he's just going to Mega and go for a Stone Edge. I think after a Dragon Dance, I foul out speed. I hope so, because if I don't, that's a problem. But I don't see anything on his team that really wants to take a Waterfall to the face right now. Oh my god! Oh, shoot. That's a problem. But on the bright side, I don't think Aerodactyls really carry anything for me. 
He's going to go into the Nido queen, queen. So I get my first layer of spikes up. And now I'm going to go into my Umbreon. He, has, he sets up the rocks. Okay, that was a bad move. I literally can't do anything to him. I'm going to go right back into Chestnut. <laughs> Seems to be a good switch. I don't know whether it's a physical or special Lucario. He's going to go right back into Nido Queen. I'm going to go into Empoleon now. This is a very switchy game. Because I go into Empoleon, expecting a poison move. He actually roars me out into Entei. And Entei likes to go for flare blitzes and kill things. Okay, that was not killed very well. Now he's just going to kill me off with the earth power and I'm going to be sad. So now I'm going to go back into Chestnut. Because I'm confident that I can survive whatever he wants to do to me. And I can set up my third layer of spikes. And since he doesn't have a spinner, then I should be good. Now I'm going to go for a seed bomb on the Lucario as it comes out. Boom. Now I'm going to go for a spiky seal just so I can gain a little bit more health and find out whether he's a physical or special Lucario. He is a physical Lucario, which is actually way better for me. Because I am a physical wall, not special. I think that my seed bomb should be able to KO after he gets the defense drop. Yep. Now I can KO him with a seed bomb. Actually, it was Life Orb, so I guess I could have KO'd it with a Seed Bomb anyway. Now he's going to go into Mew, and expecting a Psychic-type move, I would go into Umbreon, but I have a feeling this Mew is going to be tricky. I'm just going to set up the Leech Seeds. Yeah, he burns me as I get my Leech Seeds up. Not the worst thing that could happen. So now, I'm going to go for Seed Bomb. Because this Chestnut's pretty much good for nothing but maybe foddering off later, and I really... He's going to go into Aerodactyl. That's actually really good, but no, wait, never mind. I'm going to go for a Spiky Shield. He goes for the Defog. Aw. Oh, oh, I protected myself. I hate you, though, because I want those three layers of spikes up, and I can't do anything about the fact that you're going to get rid of them, and that pretty much sucks. I hate you. I had three layers of good spikes. Ugh. And this stinking Aerodactyl got rid of them all. I'm going to set up a few layers of spikes. One. Now I can go into my Azelf. And realize that, well, I'm going to go for an Energy Ball. Because he's probably going to expect a Psychic type move and go out into Hydreigon. Yep. Still doesn't do half. But I do get this special D-drop. But he's going to go for a Dark type move now. I'm going to go into Umbreon. He's a physical Hydreigon. Okay, that's just weird. I'm going to go for a Toxic now. That is a weird uh, set. Now I'm going to go for a Moonlight. And apparently he can do 1% more damage. But since I... I'm actually going to go into my Empoleon and go for an Agility here. Actually, I thought... So he's going to go into Mew now. As I get off my Agility... Sandro asks, you're recording this Secretary Lollipops. He figured out that I was recording right now, even though he asked me not to. He runs a soft world on the mute. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> this is stupid. I'm done. 300% done. Because he can literally just go ahead and kill me while he just soft boils repeatedly. I'm done. God dang it. I'm ruining my good ranking right here. After this battle, seeing as how poorly I'm doing... Oh my god. You know, I'm just done. Ha, he missed. He deserved it. I'm just going to go for flash cannons repeatedly. This is going to be a long episode, guys. Shoot. I only have time to record two. I was planning on doing three today. Oh well. This guy is annoying me. Oh my god, I hate you so much. See, this is the kind of thing that makes me hate mankind. It's people who do this all day. Just waiting for me to die. And now they're going to switch so that they don't have the special defense drop on their Mew. Watch. 
Just watch it happen. Actually, since I know that's going to happen, I'm going to go for a Skulls. I bet he's going to go into Victini expecting a Flash Cannon or something. And I can just kill it up. Now he goes into Hydreigon. Same difference. <laughs> Yeah. See, this is the kind of people who play Pokemon that I don't like. Or the people who just sit there and are like, Cool, I'm going to win because you can't kill me. It just annoys me so much. Like, I'm so good at this game, I can click one button repeatedly. See, that's how I feel. That is how I feel right now. That's how I feel. I can't win this match. Anyway. So I'm probably going to have time to record one more video today of OU. Uh, yeah, I finally got a burn off on the Mew. And this guy's mocking me because I'm annoyed. And that annoys me even more than before. Uh, I don't have any move that I can hit everything with. <laughs> except for Energy Ball. That's not going to be very effective against one thing. Oh well, he's going for the energy ball. And now he's just gonna, oh okay, that's actually better for me. Nah, okay, I'm done. I'm done guys. I'm forfeiting that one. So that makes my record 6 and 5, I still have one more battle to do. This has become so stally. That Jirachi's gonna be paraflinch, isn't it? Oh my god, I hate people. I'm gonna lead off with Azelf and make him think he want that I want to set up the rocks. Ugh! This is the best possible thing that could have happened. Because I know I outspeed. I think. Yep. I outspeed. Burn. Burn. I'm just going to go for another flamethrower. I want this thing gone. I don't care if he switches. I just need that thing gone. And actually, you know what? <laughs> that crocodile switch was not very thoughtful. I'd say this is starting off a lot better with the Azelf. Yep, there we go. This Azelf is really strong. Choice Specs Azelf. You should use it, except, you know, it's really hard to get. So now he's going to go into the Infernape. I can't really stay in on this one. Actually, he's going to go in. He's going to go for a Fire type move, so. I'm going to go for Entei here. For some reason, this feels very deja vu y. Like sending an Entei. Gunk Shot. I'm going to go for Stone Edge now. He's going to go into Florgis to take a Stone Edge. I don't quite understand your logic here. My Choice Banded Stone Edges are going to murder your face. He's making switches where he has to switch and save one of his Pokemon from death, and yet it's not working too well. This game might be shorter because it seems much less stally. Well, they disconnected. I'm going to claim the win here. I guess that's it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's going to have to be the third battle. Our record for the end of the day on UU is 7-5. Kind of a bad record for UU. It is 1-2. I'm not so happy about that. But that's going to be all today, and I will see you next time. Bye!